Brakathea Hawa, Brakathea Hawa Shai, Brakathea Hawa, Brakathea Hawa Shai, Brakathea Hawa, Brakathea Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. That thou mash not kabai lies a kormi shar shara like a double honors to the elders of Israel being the apostles and the elders of great millstone that rule well. Shalawan wahab la bachar shar shara which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with a lesson by Harukha Khura Shah and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And the title of this video is going to be something along the lines of Satanism has taken over the planet. Satanism has taken over the planet. Everywhere you look, all right. You can see uh, symbology of Satan. Okay, the cars that we drive. All right, um, Toyota, the all-seeing eye. All right, it's Satan. It's, 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 um, sim it's Satanism symbology. Okay, these different logos, these different brands. It all goes back to Satanism. All right, it all goes back to wickedness. The music, everything on social media. Social media is Satanism. All right. Which what does the word Satan mean? It means to be an adversary. An adversary. Okay. Everything that we see, this whole world is adverse to the Most High. Is opposed to the Most High and His order and His and His word. All right. This world is an enemy. Is an adversary. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and all these people that's of the world. That's why in 1 John the second chapter it says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, because if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. In James the fourth chapter it says, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, if any man be a friend of the world, you are at enmity with the Most High and your enemy. Matter of fact, let's read that because I butchered it. James chapter 4 and verse 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, the Most High in the name of His only begotten Son? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the Lord. Let's read in the NLT. You adulterers, don't you realize that friendship with the world makes you an enemy or an adversary? Right? Uh, uh, you an enemy of Yahweh? I say it again. If you want to be a friend of the world, ye you make yourself an enemy or an adversary of the Most High. Showing you that this world is an enemy or an adversary to the Lord, showing you that this world is in the vibration of Satan. Okay? Satan meaning what? Adversary. Adversary to who? The Most High. Okay? The scripture I was just thinking about. Fuck. Salakia. Anyways, we'll go from... um. From there, let me read that again, matter of fact. James 4 and 4 in the NLT, you adulterers, don't you realize that friendship with the world make you an enemy of the Lord? I say it again. If you want to be a friend of the world, you make yourself an enemy of the Lord. I read that again, hoping that it has uh, jogged my memory and the spirit will bring that scripture back to me. But we'll continue to move on. This is the book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 19. It says, And we know that we are of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And the whole world lieth in wickedness. This whole world is wicked, man. All right. Now, I believe when you go into that word world, it'd be cosmos. Speaking of the nation of Israel. Yep. So that word world is cosmos and it's, it's talking about a particular group of people. Right. It's talking about the Israelites. When John is writing this, he's right. He's talking about the world of Israel. All right. 
So that applies now as the world of Israel still. All these niggas is wicked, man. Pookie, Ray Ray, Hector Jose. All right. All these motherfuckers lie in wickedness. Okay. But in a broader sense, the whole entire earth, the whole entire earth lies in wickedness. Why is that? Because the devil is ruling. I just remembered the scripture I wanted to get. Let's grab it. The Wadi Yahweh by Shem Shai. This is the book of Ephesians chapter 2. And I'll start at verse 1. It says, And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. The Wadi Yahweh by Shem Shai for quickening, quickening us. All right. And how did he quicken us? He quickened us through his Holy Spirit. And I pray and I beg that he never take his Holy Spirit away from us, that he never cast us away from his presence, that he never take that breath of life out of our lungs. All right. Verse two, it says, where in in time past, we in time past, he walked according to the course of this world. We was once adversaries. We was once enemies to the most high, according to the prince of the power of the air, the Satan. Right. The spirit thou now that now worketh in the children of disobedience. All right. So the whole the, uh, all, the way that these niggas act, the way that Pookie and Ray Ray and Hector and Jose, uh, 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 Marisol and Maria. All right. Keisha and goddamn um, Big Shirley, the way that they act, they get that from the prince of the power of this world. All right. Who is the prince of the power of the air, which is ruling this world? It's the devil, the so-called white man, the biblical Edomites. All right. As the Lord said to them wicked scribes and Pharisees, he said, "Ye are of your father, the devil, and of the lust will ye and of his lust will ye do. He is a murderer from the beginning. All right. And a liar and the father of it. Roughly paraphrasing, I believe it's John, the eighth chapter. So that's why all right, the same traits, the same demonic ass traits that you see in these niggas, they steal. All right. They lie. They kill. They they uh, uh, murder. OK. For no goddamn reason. They're undisciplined. They're unruly. They have no control of their emotions. They get all that from their father, the devil. They get all that from Esau, Edom. The same guy that lo labels you as a thug, a gangster. All right. He's the real thug. He's the real gangster. All right. He does it on a broader level. He does it on a global level. Niggas torture each other in the hood. Niggas torture each other in the projects. All right. But Esau, he tortures the whole entire world. He's torturing countries. OK, a nigga might do a drive by. All right. And, and, a, and a straight bullet hit a baby or, or, or a granny. All right. Esau, he's dropping missiles, all right, on little children, on old women, <laughs> right, old men, so-called innocent bystanders, and he don't he don't bat an eye, he don't lose no sleep. Matter of fact, he sleep like a baby. He sleep like a with a smile on his face when he cause mischief to uh, uh, uh to prosper, man. He loves chaos. All right. And that's where these niggas get it from. OK. Going back into the Ephesians two and three, it says, among whom also we all had our conversation in time past and the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. The, uh, where does this come from? What are these characteristics come from? They come from Esau Edom. All right. Lust of the flesh. All right. It talks about how he, upon his belly he shall go. Right. Talking about the serpent in the garden upon his belly, he shall go. He shall eat dust all the days of his life. His belly is talking about his um, his desires, man. All right. His lust. OK. Eating dust all the days of his life. It's talking about confusion. He feeds off confusion. This devil couldn't survive without confusion. All the confusion that's in this world, he may, he he enforced that. The confusion between gender, between genders and gender roles, 
man and woman and in the roles that they play in the family and the roles that they play in um in society the reason why there's so much confusion surrounding that those topics is because this devil wants it to be confusion he wants it to be chaos upon uh, uh, upon his belly shall he go and dust shall he eat all the days of his life dust meaning confusion okay that's why this place is called babylon all right going back to the hebrew babal which means uh, uh confusion all right oh the scriptures say in the book of um Sirach, or no, not Sirach, Isaiah, the city of confusion is broken down. It's talking about America. This place is being broken down as we speak. This is the book of Job 9 and 24. It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So this this earth, the whole entire earth, the whole entire planet has been given to Satan. All right, and I'm not talking about the spiritual demon Satan, all right, which he he he's ruling too, but he's he has a physical counterpart. The spiritual demon Satan has a spiritual counterpart, and we're reading about his spiritual counterpart right here in Job nine and twenty four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who rules the earth? Who rules the earth? It's the so called white man. It's easy. That's an easy answer. Okay. Now it's going to give you characteristics, more characteristics, but besides him ruling the earth, making all the laws, all right, face on all the money, controlling all the resources, but besides him having the earth, all right, in his hand, under his control, what other characteristics does he have? He covered the faces of the judges thereof. He covered the faces of the true judges of the earth. Who is the true judges of the earth? It starts with the Most High, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Look up an image of God. You're going to see an image of a so-called white man. Who's the next judge in line after the Most High? His only begotten son. Who in the world he calls Jesus? Look up Jesus Christ. You're going to see an image of who? The so-called white man. Look up Adam. Who do you see? So-called white man, Moses. A judge, right? Look him up. Google him. You're going to see an image of a so-called white man. The Israelites were set up to be judges of the earth. Who's calling themselves? the? the who, who's in the land of Israel today? Claiming to be the chosen. That's who the wicked is. That's who Satan's physical counterpart is. Okay. In the book of Malachi, the first chapter, it says that he is the border of wickedness. This is Malachi chapter 1 and verse 4. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished. That's plural. It's talking about the whole nation of Edom. We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. The Renaissance period. Rebirth. Rebirth of who? Esau, Edom. Coming back into power. Coming back into rulership. The Roman Empire. Who are Edomites, right? The pagan Roman Empire who are Edomites come back into power, come back into rulership, that deadly wound being re, uh, being healed. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. This is what they have built. This world, the society, the system, this is what they have built. The Lord's going to throw it down. And they shall call them, the Edomites, the border of wickedness and the people Against whom the Lord is against them and they're against the Lord. Mean, making them what? Adversaries. Making them Satan. And everybody that's down with them are, is also adversaries. Okay? The people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. Alright? Lord ain't came, coming back to save not one Edomite. Okay? He's coming to destroy Babylon and all the rest of the Edomites and the rest of the heathens that's left after the d destruction that comes upon this place. The Lord is going to um, have us put them in, have the elect, I don't want my desire be of that number, put chains on them. This is what the Bible says. 
And the Bible hasn't been wrong yet. Okay? The Bible hasn't been wrong yet. So this is what we're going to see take place very, very soon. Okay? Satanism has taken Satanism has taken over the planet. And that's why we need Yahweh Shai to return. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 5, chapter 2nd Ezra chapter 15 and verse 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. The Lord's bringing plagues upon this world. Why? Because this world is ungodly. Ungodly means to be what? Un means to be means not. The prefix un means not. Okay? Or without. Okay? So you put the word together, it ungodly means to be without God. Okay? It's first Peter chapter two and verse five. No, nope, not first Peter. This is second Peter chapter two and verse five. It says, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Okay, let's read that in the NLT. And the Lord did not spare the ancient world, just like how the Lord is not going to spare this world. All right. The ancient world, meaning that ancient society, ancient civilization during Noah's time. That was completely destroyed. That was completely wiped out. Just like how this system is going to be completely wiped out. It's the same earth. We're living on the same earth that Noah lived on. This is the same earth. So when the Lord brings destruction upon this world, he's going to save the earth. He's just bringing down this system. He's bringing down all of America is going to be completely destroyed. Not going to be one building, one, one stone left in this bitch. Okay, but the earth abideth forever. All right. After the earth is done shaking and the Lord brings his elect back down on the, uh, onto the earth, New Jerusalem coming down from heaven as a bride adorned for her husband. Then the elect is going to gather up the heathens and then uh, uh, and put the uh, world back into its proper order. Back under a righteous vibration. Right? It says, And the Lord did not spare the ancient world except for Noah and the seven others in his family. Noah warned the world of Yahweh's righteous judgment. Just like we're doing. I don't want to write this out. We are modern day Noah. Alright? We are modern day Noahs. We're warning this world. We're warning the, the whole entire world. Heathens included. Telling them their judgment. Telling them the wrath of the Lord. We're warning the nation of Israel, okay? Telling, telling them to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And if they don't repent, they shall all likewise perish. So Yahweh protected Noah when he destroyed the world of ungodly people with a vast flood of ungodly people. People under a wicked vibration. People under a vibration, under a spirit totally opposed to the Most High, making them what? Ungodly. Right? For their sakes came the flood, and the Lord protected Noah, his righteous servant. All right? So let's go from there back in the second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 6. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Wickedness have completely taken over this place, man. Everywhere you look is wickedness. You put a show on, it's wickedness on there. It's a body boy. It's adultery. It's something on there that's wicked as fuck. Everywhere you goddamn go. It's everywhere. The air is fucking goddamn wicked, man. Spreading chemtrails in the air. The water is wicked. 
full of all different type of chemicals. The food is goddamn wicked. Stripping the stripping the um seeds, genetically modified organisms. The uh, Elder Yashua been, been going into it. Terminator seeds, to where the seeds don't uh, pretty much they're sterile. They don't reproduce. So that Esau makes you uh, force you to come back to him to get more Terminator goddamn seeds. It's wickedness everywhere, man. The whole world, we read in that first John, the whole world lieth in wickedness. So we need a savior. We need Yahweh Shai to, re to return with healing in his wings. This is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 10. And verse 6. Folly is set in great dignity. And the rich sit in low place. The folly is set in great dignity. Damn TikTokers. Getting rich as fuck. Streamers. Becoming millionaires. Multi-millionaires. Multi, uh, Alright. Making millions and millions of dollars. For being fucking fools. For being goddamn wicked. These bitches is selling farts. Dead ass serious. It's not a joke. It's not funny. Bitches is selling farts. Making six figures. I'm talking about an actual fart. Only fans. Only fans. And the bitch got the nerve to call her herself a model. Bitches on Only Fans showing her stanky ass booty hole. Making millions. Folly is set in great dignity. And the rich in the low place. Alright? Here it is. We got to work these goddamn jobs. This bitch can make, just take pictures of her fucking feet. And make six figures. This bitch can sell farts. Nigga. This shit don't make you mad. Ecclesiastes says. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. A bitch is selling farts. Meanwhile you, you could be a construction worker. You could be a plumber. And you look down upon. But your occupation makes the world go round. You a truck driver. You drive America's economy. And a bitch will look down at you. Because you a blue collar worker. But without these type of jobs, the world would stop. The society would cease to exist. But this bitch sell farts and she's a six-figure earner. Sell pictures of her feet, she's a six-figure earner. She gets on a pole, she's making 500, 1,000, 1,500 a night, depending where what city she in. Right? Verse 7, I have seen servants upon horses. And princes walking as servants upon the earth. So that's why. Because servants is on horses. Meaning what? The servants is in power. Slaves is in power. Peasants is in power. The Bowers is ruling. What does Bower mean? Bower means peasant. Before they was called the Rothschilds. Before they changed their name to the Rothschilds. Their name was the Bowers. Peasants. Servants is ruling. That's why everything is backwards. That's why folly is set in great dignity. Right? And princes walking like servants. And princes, the real rulers, the real judges, the real sons of God, is slaves in this society. How long shall this endure like Ezra's asked? Okay? So I'm on my lunch break. I ain't have too much time. But let's get another one. The Second Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse... Three, it says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be in that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, the man of sin, the son of perdition, destruction, the man of sin being Esau, Edom. That's why sin is all over the world, because the man of sin is ruling, as it says in the book of Sirach, the 10th chapter, as the judge is, so is his, so is the people of the city. As the ruler of the... Let's read it. Ecclesiasticus, Sirach chapter 10 and verse uh, 2. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. So what manner of the man is the ruler of the city? 
He's Satan. <laughs> he's the man of sin. He's the son of perdition. He's evil. He's wicked. So all the people that dwell in the city, that dwell under his rule, are what? Satanists. If you're a Christian, you're a Satanist. You worship Jesus Christ, you're a Satanist. All right? All that shit goes back to Satanism. If you're a, um, a Muslim, all that shit ties back into the Roman Catholic Church, which is ran by who? Satan is goddamn self. All right? The whole world lieth in wickedness. Okay? Back in that Thessalonians... This is uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 4. Who opposeth and exalted itself above all that is called God or that is worship. So that he as God sitteth in the temple of the Most High showing himself that he is God. Right. Who opposeth. He's an adversary. He's in opposition. Okay. And everybody and the rest of this world is just like him. In opposition to the Most High. An adversary to the Most High. And the Lord said, Those that are my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring them hither and slay them before me. The Lord got the victory over Satan. Okay? And we're about to see that victory play out in these last days. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Yahweh Shai, the Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. Haven't I said? Like I said, I'm on, I'm on break. Got to go back in. Lord's will, soon we're not going to have to work. The whole society is going to collapse, man. The whole society is not going to be no work for Egypt, for the head of the tail. But anyways, man, Lord willing, I was edifying, uplifting, and exhorting. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Baha'sham, Yahweh Shai, Baha'sham, Rechach Hodash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior, Rechach Hodash, is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. The Thumash Nakabad lies the Kormi Shasharala, get up behind us to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom, Wahab, Wahab, Labachir, Shasharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom, Let's keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draw off nine, redemption is near than we believe. Shalom.